Sam, I'm your Crypt Keeper, and what better day, day to, than today to share some scary stories. Let's head outside with Abby for your weather preview. Today on today's weather, I will let you know if this rain will continue or not throughout this girls soccer game tonight. Governor Kathy Hochul has issued a state of emergency in advance of an anticipated nor'easter this week. Declaring the state an emergency was to prepare and provide necessary resources and protect the lives and prop property of the people in New York. New Jersey State Emergency started at 8 p.m. Rainfall is predicted that it'll be one inch per hour in some areas. Three central New York elementary schools banned costumes from popular Netflix series Squid Game from entering the building this Halloween. Fayetteville Elementary, Mott Road, and Ender Road put out a statement last week saying Squid Game's costumes do not meet our school costume guidelines due to the potential violent message aligned with the costume. With the graphic nature of the series, these costumes are not appropriate for school. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you a senior looking for volunteer hours? Then Kids Night Out is the opportunity for you. This event will be taking place on Friday, November 5th from 6 to 9 p.m. If you are interested, please sign up on the sign-up sheet, which is hanging in the main lobby on the bulletin board near the auditorium. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hart in room E6. This past Saturday, the Spartan Marching Band finished in second place again this week at, the Central at Central Square. If you haven't been to the New York State Field Band Championship before, you should go this upcoming Sunday night. The performance is in the Carrier Dome, and you can root for your ESM Spartan Marching Band when they take the field at 6.15 p.m. The weight room will be closed after school on Wednesday, October 27th through the half day. Contact Coach Hayes with any questions. The genre of horror and literature and film started in the 18th century, but scary stories existed long before that with its ancient roots in folklore and religious traditions surrounding death or demonic beings. Today we share many of the same stories and watch movies based on these classics with some new ones in the mix to creep ourselves out. You may have some scary stories yourself, maybe a door opened on its own when you were home alone, or maybe you saw a figure shoot across the hallway. Personally, I don't have a lot of scary stories, one that really sticks out was when I was younger, I was going trick-or-treating, going to my cousin's house up in Messina, New York, and I passed by a decoration in a front yard with a man who was hiding in the dark, and he came out and screamed. I was four years old at the time, so my reaction wasn't great. I ran down the street crying. It's also the story why I don't really enjoy Halloween. My family also has stories like seeing ghosts in hallways, little girls knocking on doors, things of that such. We have Josh here is here to share his sort of out of out of well, the normal scary stories. We know about scary stories. stories. The man, Stephen King. Stephen just, King. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> One of my scary stories was actually inside of this room. Really? Yeah. I was sitting in my news chair as last year I wasn't that great at news, and and everybody came running screaming at me. And then it was not a good day. We saved him. We, <laughs> somewhat. All right. We've made it. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it now. Or maybe it's the cold getting to me. Let's check in with weather. high of 56 and a low of 48. Tonight there will be lighter showers but it should dry out by dawn. Tomorrow it will be sunny with a high of 56 and a low of 40. Thursday it will be sunny with some clouds with high in the 60s. Friday it should be dry most of the day and rain in the evening. The high will be 58 with a low of 47. I'm Abby with your weather.
it'd be a good idea as the Crypt Keeper myself to share some of my favorite scary stories with you all. Uh, first is the Goosebumps series, particularly The Haunted Mask and Night of the Living Dummy by R.L. Stein. Those books when I were younger were hard for me to read. I'm a big scaredy cat, but I got through them. Uh, second is the entirety of scary stories to tell in the dark. I read that in middle school, and I think the scariest part of that is the illustrations. They seemed really graphic when I was younger, but now I can look at them and read it without feeling like I have to close the book for an hour afterwards. And uh, last but not least is Stephen King's books, particularly Needful Things, It and The Shining. Those three are definitely a little bit more psychological, and they've also got some other things mixed in there, but they're definitely my favorites. You know, if I were a character in any of these books, I think I would have just run away. I mean, it's one of the best solutions in every horror story and movie, but it's never used first. Speaking of running, let's head over to sports. The New Orleans Saints defeated the Seattle Seahawks last night, 13-10. Running back Alvin Kamara led the Saints with 179 total yards and one touchdown. Game one of the World Series is tonight as the Atlanta Braves travel down to Houston to play the Astros. The Chicago Bulls are 4-0 for the first time in 25 years as they beat the Toronto Raptors 111-108. Boys Volleyball lost to Liverpool 3-0. Cole Thomas led the team with 11 kills. And congratulations to Alex Conzone and Nico Paduano, who's played in the game against Cortland and also won the play of the week on News Channel 9. In upcoming games, the boys volleyball team plays at Baldwinsville at 6 and girls soccer plays JD at 7 at Chittenango for their semifinal game. And I'm Ryan with your sports. All right, that's all I've got to share with you this morning. Have a terrifying Tuesday and stay tuned for tomorrow's show, Gen Z versus Old People with Madison, Ellie, Mr. Ferris, and Mr. McSweeney.